Right, I'm back with the first wave of Decepticon RGRs. First, there's Power Up, a portable gaming system. On the screen, there's Cybertron Jetfire in the middle of a battle. Not that that's relevant to the movie, but what are you going to do? You can press both the D-pad on the left and the action buttons on the right to give the form the sense of being real. The head is slightly visible if you look at it from an angle, as are the robot hands, but that's not so major really. Power Up has a very simple automorph transformation. Pulling down both his legs at the same time extends the shoulders and raises the head. It also works the opposite way too. Just pull the arms down. And here he is. Now, his robot mode, I must admit, has a pretty loud colour scheme, but his head looks more alienish than most of the others, which fits in with the movie designs as a whole anyway. Articulation, like most of the others, is pretty good. But he's also one of those figures that's best looked at from certain angles. From the side, you can see that his lower legs stick out slightly. His arms are also quite spindly. The pincers also don't move much. But overall, I still think he's worth picking up. It's just not as good as some of the other RGRs. Next is Zoom Out. Like Longview, Zoom Out's alt mode, a camcorder, is slightly small to scale. Though to be fair, real life video cameras are getting smaller all the time. Also, like Beast Wars Wolfang, he has an alt mode that looks best from one side, but not the other. You can quite clearly see the robot mode head there. But it's not all that bad. I mean, the gimmick in this form is that the panel flips up and, through the LCD screen, you can see Cybertron Overdrive in robot mode. And the recording time, like Speed Dial's uh, time, is a reference to the movie's original release date in the USA. The transformation... oh, and his name is printed on the side there. Now, the transformation is pretty straightforward. And the LCD panel splits to form wings, which is a nice touch, I must say. Now, Zoom Out's robot mode is somewhat chunky. At least it looks that way with the legs and the shoulders. He would be nicely proportioned if it weren't for his stubby arms. The pincers don't work, and the arms in general don't have much movement to them either. All they can really do is that. At least the head, and just zoom on it for it, at least the head looks fairly Decepticon-ish. And, and as you can see from here, the wings are fairly loose and thus don't stay up very well. But otherwise, an okay RGR overall. Finally, we have Booster, an MP3 player. Though the controls here are specifically like those of an iPod. He also comes with an earpiece, which, like some of the other RGRs, has the name printed on. The rubber semicircle attached to it allows you to put the piece over your ear, possibly to give you the sense of being real. The MP3 player itself isn't overly detailed. I mean, I like the fiery colour scheme, but um, a bit more detail would have been good. On the other hand, 
MP3 players aren't that ornamental to start with. An LD, an LCD screen might have been good though. The transformation is yet again simple, though getting the legs out may be a bit fiddly on the first few tries, and the earpiece becomes a weapon which is placed on Booster's back. Just fit it in there. Now, this is Booster transformed, and no prizes for getting as who he's a homage to. He has Laserbeak's general colour scheme, and his head is also fairly close to the cartoon version. Though the type of bird isn't really a condor, but some other bird of prey, perhaps. One thing I do like is the fiery details on the wings. Very phoenix-like, huh? His articulation is also impressive. His wings can move, like so. Even his legs have posability to them, but the joints are a little loose which makes him tricky to stand upright sometimes. Apart from the problems I've mentioned, he's a great homage to a classic character, aside from being a good figure on its own. So, in order of recommendation, from lowest to highest, I put speed dial at lowest, followed by zoom out, power up, booster, long view, and spy shot at highest. But as a whole, they're nifty figures with good references to both the movie and G1. The next review I will do will probably be Classics Bumblebee, but for now this is RuneScape228 saying until then, till all I want.